you, John. Um, do you have any update on Nikita? And I guess what's the concern level? You know, when you see a guy like that not able to come back and do a game like that. Yeah, no update. Ken Campbell. Go ahead, Ken, if you have a question. Is Ken on his couch right now? Oh, okay, yeah. sorry about that. Yeah. Um, John, hi, John. Uh, Steven Stamko said that the officials told you guys that they didn't think that that cross check was malicious. Um, I'm wondering, number one, if, if you can confirm that. And number two, uh, if that's the case, how you cannot be possibly be outraged that a referee actually saw that and deemed it to be a kinder and gentler cross check. Uh, I cannot confirm that. So I, I don't know if that was said. Um, I, I, it'd be weird though, cause like to say it wasn't malicious and yeah. I mean, I guess you're determining, cause I don't think that's in the rule book. The cross check has to be malicious. I don't think that word's in there, but I can't confirm that was said. So um, uh, I, I just know what happened really close to one of the officials, but you didn't see it. Move on. Dan Rosen, NHL.com. John, you had to expect a pushback from the Islanders, especially when they were down to nothing. They gave it. Why was it a struggle for you guys to push back after that? Uh, I don't know. Well, we were short, so players, so that probably didn't help out. Um, the, you know, like, I didn't mind our game. And, you know, we, we got up to, we just, you know, it was, it was weird. Cause like, mis we had a couple mistakes and they ended up in the net and it wasn't like we were under siege at all. It wasn't like they were getting big scoring chances. That was not the case. Um, but when we made a mistake, it, it was, uh, it just ended up in the net and, and usually it doesn't happen that way. Um, so it was unfortunate, but, uh, and, and our guys battled. It was uh, it was a good hockey game, and uh, I think by with two quality teams like this, you kind of expect something like this. You expect a series like this, and you sit here right now, minutes after um, you know you lose a game in overtime. You know it, it stings, but in the end, a lot of good things come from tonight. Hey, we're we uh, you know we've we're one win away from going to the Stanley Cup final. So if you were going to tell me that, I would be like, "Damn, I'll take that." And uh, so here we are. Eric Erlinson, Lightning Insider. John, it's been a couple of years since you guys have embraced a uh, elimination type game on on your side, and everything was six games last year, and everything six or fewer this year. So how do you embrace now a game seven when you haven't had one for a couple of years? Well, it's a, first of all, I don't know if you can sit here and, oh, it's game seven. Yeah, it's game seven, but it's, uh, you know, all these games we've played, I mean, we've clearly played the most games we have in a, you know, in the calendar year uh, of any of the teams in the league and, and, but it's prepared us for times like this, or it should have. And um, like we've, I know it was an, elim an elimination game for us, but uh, we lost games last year where we could have knocked a team out. We didn't, and we had to do it the next, the next game. And, and so it's, you kind of treat it like that. We had put ourselves in an opportunity to um, knock them out tonight and we didn't. And fortunately, we have another opportunity. And so uh, we just have to take advantage of that. Chris Johnston, Sportsnet. John, as of the result of the game itself, how did you think the guys managed without Kucherov in the lineup? How did you guys deal with, with that situation, not having him available for the game? Yeah, like it's, it's next man up. It's, it's uh, these guys, there's just a collective group. And, and I'm telling you, it, there wasn't, uh panic in the group at all i mean, we we did what we had to do to win a hockey game we got a couple goals um you know unfortunately they got we kind of shot ourselves in the foot at the end there but it, these guys they gamed it out and and we've played 
we played 56 games without him. Um, usually we have 12 forwards when we play without him, but it, that probably made it a little bit tougher on us that we could only have 11. Uh, but we, uh, we'd gone down this path for four months. And so it was nothing new to us. Um, we've won games with him. We've won without him. And, and it's unfortunate, you know, we'd lost him for that period of time. But um, it, like I said, the guys game this one out. Um, they got the break they needed at the end. They capitalized. Good for them. Let's move on to the next one. We'll do one more for Coach. Joe, we'll go back to you for the last one. Hey, John, I think you said earlier that one of the things you saw from the championship you guys won is that the guys manage tough moments really well or are able to kind of push go push past that. I was, how much of that is going to help you, you know, after a moment like this where obviously going to next game? Well, there's a pedigree with this group, right? In the last um, two playoffs – uh, tournaments and and these guys have not disappointed and um, yeah, you can't predict what the result's going to be. Uh, both teams are going to show up and play, but uh, this group's as we've all watched has been a pretty resilient group, and um, I'd expect nothing less uh, two nights from now.